Hey guys, it's Phil here from jailbreakitouch.com. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iTouch using this uh, application called Xiphone uh, using firmware 114. As, um, as some of you may be aware or uh, who's jailbroken their iTouches in the past, um, realize that you have to start from firmware 111. So normally you would have to downgrade if you're running 114, 113, or 112. Uh, but with this new Xiphone, it allows you to jailbreak at 114. So I haven't done any other testing in regards to what works with it. Uh, there was issues with 113 where you're unable to use your customized application. You couldn't use the summer board. If you did try to use summer board, uh, you had to do some modifications, which um, modifications uh, using uh, using putty. So there are uh, situations that may come up. But for the for the time being, what I'll do is I'll show you guys how to um, how to jailbreak it. We'll install a we'll install a source that will give you all the iPhone applications. And essentially, you will just have um, you'll have a jailbroken a jailbroken iTouch uh, using firmware 114. So as you can see here, um, for the iPhone, make sure you download the latest iPhone application, which is uh, 2.6b. There is uh, a button here that says iPod Touch. So if you highlight that, it'll bring up some information. It'll tell you that um, that you need to use 114. It gives you a bit of a um, you know history of what's what's going to happen. It also says here if the pod gets stuck at spamming at with waiting for a response, use the fix NV RAM button in the advanced features. I have yet to come across that, so unfortunately I, I can't show you that, but I haven't uh, come across that uh, that error. And you can see here where it tells you what to do. So on the iTouch itself, you'll see when I turn it on, there's absolutely nothing. What I did was I restored it to 111, and then I did a straight restore to 114. So I put it back to my factory settings and brought it back up to 114 factory settings. So one of the things too is make sure that you set your auto lock to never, just so it doesn't shut off when you're doing the installation. It shouldn't take very long. Go back to general, and you'll see that I am running that I'm running 114. So what we do now is we push the button. It will put our iTouch into recovery mode. Well, this is happening if you guys want. Uh, you can visit jailbreakitouch.com. Uh, we're currently developing a new site. Right now, we're sitting at a form board. We've had a lot of success. We have a lot of people signing up. We're, we're growing really fast, uh, which is really great through, uh, through people uh, visiting us and signing up. We have a few uh, YouTube videos. Just explaining how to jailbreak. We'll have more videos to come. So jailbreakitouch.com. Now I've done this once before. I did it. I did it a few moments ago uh, to see how it was going to work, and I had no issues. So I hope this uh, goes the same for everybody else. So as you can see right now, it says the process has been completed successfully. We do is we open up open up our iTouch as you can see on there now that we have we have the installer that's on here this is what we want it they put on they, they put on their uh, their blog as but you can see right now we don't have any um, any iPhone apps so what we'll do is we'll go install that Uh, one of the first things we need to do is we need to connect to the internet. Okay, so we go to the installer. And for, those, for those of you who are doing this for the very first time, um, this installer is where you can get uh, you can install all the applications. There's hundreds upon hundreds of applications. Uh, everybody now is writing their own you know repository for for applications. Um, Click uh, click update now. The new installer, once again for those of you who are using this for the first time, uh, the new installer has a queue. So you can install multiple files at uh, you can you can choose to install multiple files at once. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the sources. We're going to add a source. Okay, so as you can see, I've added the iPod Touch Master. Um, source here. So what, what you want to do now is go to install. We're talking about the iPhone applications. 
Now you have the one one four, um, the one more one one four app applications installation. Click install, click install. As you saw, the add to queue portion. So here it says you must install the BSD subsystem first. So this is common. This is what we need to do. Now, bear in mind that for, the, for those of you who use this for the very first time, you saw that portion that came up that said add to queue. So you click on all packages and we find that BSD systems. You click install. It's, you have stuff. You have stuff that's in the queue now. You got to clear the queue. Click install, and now you should be able to install that. It's a fairly big file. It's about 5.1 megs, as you can see. Okay. It says do not use the password to change, so don't do that. Just leave everything default. Okay, so that's done. Always exit out because what it does, it refreshes your springboard. Whether this has any consequences on uh, whether it actually does anything, but it's uh, just a habit I've got that I just automatically exit back out. Go back to your installer. Click on install. Look for the 114 applications. Install. Install. And now it's installing the package. We'll also do is we'll go to Tweaks 114. Let's add this one tweak. Hit the reboot it. That's okay. We won't reboot that as of yet. I didn't actually physically experience I didn't experience any problems with the iTouch trying to connect to YouTube, but I'll just install it anyways. Now if you take a look, we have all the applications including um, the the mail which is working. We have the stocks. Retrieving data, I believe that comes from Yahoo as you can see there. We got connectivity, our maps. Everything shows up how it's supposed to be. The weather. For those of you who are using this for the first time, if you want to change the weather, click on the letter I. It'll flip around. Uh, you can then you can uh, you can click add, and then you can delete. Uh, sorry, you can add whatever whatever one you want there. Just give it a moment when you add it in. Let's say you do. Um, Let's say you do Toronto. Click on search. Click on, well, we are Celsius. Click done. It'll flip over and then you can see with what's going on. Actually, that's reading actually Fahrenheit. I wish it was uh, 36 degrees for, uh, Celsius here. So, you got that. You also have the, the notes and all that works. And the cool feature too is now you also have the squiggly icons. So you see everything's jiggling and now you can you can move things around. And say you don't like uh, say you don't like the installer on this page, um, you hold it down so you move it, move it to the next page. Click your, your home button and then there you go. So that's it. So now you've had 114, you've got all the iPhone applications. And uh, that's it. 